Hey guys, Marco here from Marco Designs, and um, this is going to be a tutorial overlooking um, the program Adobe Raw, which is um, a program inside of um, both Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom. And it's a very powerful yet very simple um, way to just enhance all of your raw CR2 files um, when you take a photo. So um, I'm just going to throw in a photo here. Um, let it load and there you go you get um this uh, you get this uh pretty much uh, it says camera raw 6.4.1 and it can already tell me my camera which was the EOS digital rebel XSI and uh, basically what you can do in this is really just um, adjust a lot of things you know the exposure you can adjust the the contrast All right so there's a lot of things um it's a very powerful but yet it's very um what I really like about it is the fact that it's not like an external application it's built right into um, um Photoshop so as you saw um pretty much all I did was drag the photo into Photoshop and there you go it um gave me this so um we can begin with some what I'm gonna be teaching you is how to just um just some basic things about this um, program so you can see the white balance you can adjust it to auto you could have it if you remember it was daylight so there it gives it a bit more pure look flash makes it look a little more boring cloudy there it looks a lot um looks a lot warmer in a way but i'm going to leave it as shot um it looks a bit boring so let's see if daylight no we'll keep it as as shot it looks a bit warmer so um we'll begin with um this is the temperature bar and as you can see if you put it down it becomes a little bit colder that's of course the extreme but there see it sort of just looks a bit cooler like I mean colder um, but when you put it here it looks a lot warmer uh, we'll just put that back to the default whatever it was ah oh, it's the default ah anyway that looks that looks pretty good right there so you have the tint is it like a purplish or a green tint just put that back to its original there we go and now here so we'll just leave that sort of the way it was it's not that important right now let's look over the exposure so the exposure put it down I like to just bump it up just a little bit that looks pretty good the recovery doesn't make too big of a difference so um you know you can leave that if you like I'm gonna leave it. It pretty much, as you can see, this little area, it um makes it a little bit darker and not as standing out as it is here. But we'll just leave that. Here's the fill light, which makes it a little bit, which makes it quite a lot brighter. That's of course the extreme. We're gonna leave that one. The blacks just enhances them a little bit. We don't want to do that because of this little area. We want to keep that um as red as possible. So maybe we'll just do just a little bit in there. We'll keep it at a six. And the brightness, we're gonna leave that actually for now. Just put that back to 50. And the contrast, I like to actually bump it all the way up because it makes the photo look a lot more um, deep, a little bit more interesting in my opinion. Maybe a little bit less than all the way. There, 95 looks good. But I like to do it just because it makes the photo look more interesting in my opinion and just uh, looks overall more powerful. Um, then the next thing is the clarity, which I think actually is a really cool thing that you can do. So here, as you can see, it like sort of blurs it, um, but here it sharpens it to as much as possible, right? Um, you can sort of leave that. Uh, yeah, but you know, if you want, that's something you can mess around with. I'm actually gonna just blur it up just a little bit. Minus nine looks good because I really want only this red candle to be um you know I want that to be the center and everything else pretty much to be blurred now the two that we're really gonna be focusing on is the vibrance and the saturation now um, there's many things you can do you can make it a little bit more you know interesting like that well, that's a little too much you know you can definitely mess around with that but what I like to do it gives a very powerful effect and what I'm gonna be doing in this episode is actually dropping it all the way down and giving us this nice black and white uh, mostly except for the candle and just barely some other parts so you can bump that up just a little bit there we go and then the saturation you can turn it up to what suits your liking 
I think that looks pretty good, just like that. And then the photo, as you can see, it looks very, um, looks a lot different, but it looks really interesting in my opinion. It obviously brings a lot of focus into the candle. And um, yeah, it looks very almost, you know, fantasy-like and mystical. Then we're going to go into, let's see, we can do a little bit, um, here, the lens correction. We can just uh, enable lens uh, profile corrections. And what I like to do is, you know, some people don't like to, but I like to just give it a little bit of a vignette. As you can see, there you go. I'll just put that up a little bit. I feel like it just draws more uh, focus and attention into the center if that's where usually your subject is. So yeah, that's what I like to do there. You can of course add some grain. I don't see why you would want to though. I would never. Um, then you have all the camera calibration which we're not gonna mess around with right now. And of course you know you can do your hue. Actually it doesn't make that big of a difference here. Yeah, there we go. So that would definitely, you know, can mess around with that. Don't see why you ever would though. Go that crazy. You can um here. Let's see that. Nothing really. And the shadows. Shadows can be something of fun to mess around with. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna leave that alone. And we have the HSL grayscale. We're not gonna mess around with that. The detail, the sharpening. You can sharpen it. No, sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's Halloween, some fireworks, I'm about to go out too, and just wanted to make this quickly, but yeah, so that's uh, the sharpening, you don't need to mess around with that. Now the curves are awesome, but I prefer to do them actually in um, Photoshop itself, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to bring up the temperature a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting, like that, and click open image, and there we go, now we have it, um, let's give it a second. It's going to be in Photoshop. There we go. Um, and then I'm just going to rasterize it. There we go. And then um, I like to just put a little bit of curves on it just to make it look more interesting. So then bump that down a bit. There, that looks about right. That looks nice. So with, out, and then with. It just looks a bit more interesting. Then what else we're going to do is we're going to add, um, just find a photo filter. Just a warming filter. Not a lot, but just enough to make it look a little bit more interesting so there we go I think we're gonna leave it at that I think it looks pretty good so as you guys can see uh, camera raw by Adobe is a very powerful um, a very powerful program that you can use just to really enhance your photographs and take your photography and photo editing skills to the next level um, I totally recommend it and um, yeah so I'll see you guys later um, yeah peace